24 foot 2004 Coachman Spirit of America here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I gotta tell you, this is a very clean little camper. Um, the uh, folks enjoyed it. I mean, took amazingly good care of it and simply wanted to upgrade to something a little bit bigger with a slide out. They purchased a, uh, a used Jayco Eagle that we had here uh, and uh, never looked back and tell you what if they take care of that one the way they took care of this one I would certainly like to have the chance to uh, take their trade in again um, the opposite side of the trailer the fender skirt there looks like it got torn up a little bit I guess they experienced a flat tire on their way to our dealership to trade this one in uh, my understanding is we've already ordered and will be replacing that fender skirt so while it may look unsightly here in this particular video do understand that that is not how it's going to stay little bike rack on the back here you actually slot your wheels between those things and you can chain them down to that post i've seen people use those for all kinds of things they'll strap down coolers all kinds of stuff that's the fun part about camping people always find a way pretty good size awning about a 20 foot awning on a 24 foot camper here and again that little fender well is to be replaced um i mean really other than just little nothing you know bumps here and there like a little bump right there where someone must have bumped a flagpole into it or something uh there's just nothing to be scared about on this one and remember that i'm being pretty nitpicky and i'm showing you all those little things so that you know exactly what you're looking at here to my knowledge there are no big faults to be worried about in this one close the door behind me here so pardon the shoddy camera work there still waking up for the morning um no slide camper, which means very lightweight. I think this one was just over 4,000 pounds, but it also means that it's just easier to manage. There's just less to take care of. There's positives and negatives to everything. It just depends on your goal and what you're looking to accomplish. Tell you what, though, some pretty big windows going on in here. Windows are a very expensive component within a camper, and seeing big windows like that is awesome. I'm not surprised to see the original full pack of owner's manuals here, considering the extremely well-kept condition of this camper. I mean, they used it a lot, but if you can show me an ounce of wear and tear on, on these uh, cushions and whatnot, then I'll be impressed because I sure don't see them. I mean, even the, even the original red, white, and blue um, you know, bedspread still present from when this thing was built new from the factory. That's pretty impressive. I can't tell you if I've ever seen one of those. Hands down, the best kept Spirit of America I've ever seen. And we've seen quite a few come in on trade here. Classic see-through wall over here. Um, you know, that was something designed to help uh, add structural integrity to the camper while also still providing uh, some light and some pass-through without making this thing seem so cramped up, you know. Uh, both sides of the bed do have um, power outlets, I've noticed, household outlets. So if you do have phone chargers or CPAP machines and whatnot, you can keep all that stuff, um, you know, powered up. The, um, each side of the bed has a little drawer too, which is always handy. Great little couples camper. If you've never ever had an RV before, this would be a perfect place to start. If you're thinking about maybe upgrading from a pop-up or something like that into a full hard side camper, this is a great option right here. Folks who have had a slide out, probably not too excited about giving up that prospect. Slide outs are one of those things where once you have them, it's hard to give them up. It's <laughs> It's sort of like, you know, when, when the internet was new, you know, it's so funny. We take things for granted so badly today. When the internet was new and uh, everybody had dial up, you didn't know any better. So you thought, cool, I can get on the internet. And then um, the, uh, you know, high speed internet became more readily available. And suddenly it was like, oh, you have dial up? No, thanks. I'd rather not even use your computer. <laughs> you know, it, it's such a, it's such a funny thing the way we become slanted and slope adjusted to these things. So it's a big rear bathroom, um, and again, everything is well kept and cleaned in here. Now there is a big closet, big, big closet going on here. It's, it's actually a uh, little, uh, probably, I don't know, about two, two and a half feet deep. And you can see it actually wraps around the corner here. So you have massive closet storage space in here. So while there may not be wardrobes on each side of the front bed, you still have plenty of hanging clothing storage room. And that's pretty much the story of this one. Very well kept, clean little camper that they enjoyed using quite a bit. And they just wanted to go to something a little bit bigger. You know, even, I mean, they had to have been stored under a cover, maybe inside or something, because even the graphics and the decals, they're not sun faded. They're not peeling. That is very uncommon for an 04 camper. So know that this is one that was very well kept. Um, even the awning looks good, you know. 800 256 5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.